This is traumatic. This has been a very traumatic thing. When the unimaginable happens. We lost them twice. They, you know, that's, that's what it feels like to me. It should not happen again. It feels like somebody murdered my dead husband, which doesn't make any sense. But that's the only way I can describe what that feels like. Daniel McCarthy, Judy Kressler, and Debbie Schultz are among more than 800 people whose loved ones' remains were stolen and sold by the Sunset Mesa funeral home on the Western Slope. I was blank. I was flabbergasted by this. Now, years later, another funeral home horror is unfolding, this time in Southern Colorado. The FBI says it found nearly 200 decomposing bodies inside the Return to Nature funeral home in Penrose. 200 more families feeling the same never-ending pain as the victims of Sunset Mesa. It's still hard, it's just not natural. But there's a reason it keeps happening. I'm more stunned at the lack of law in the funeral home industry here in Colorado. And there's still a big gap. Republican Representative Matt Soper tried to close the gap. After Sunset Mesa, he helped pass laws allowing state investigators to inspect funeral homes if there's a complaint and made abuse of a corpse a felony. It means that there's only a few victims in the future, not 300 to 800 victims in the future. But the new laws didn't stop the funeral home in Penrose. State regulators now want more authority and ask lawmakers to let them start routine inspections of funeral homes. Soper says the legislature should go even further. So we're currently the um, only state that does not uh, license morticians. He wants lawmakers to require licensing and oversight for people who work in the funeral industry. The political appetite is there. Um, there's going to be some challenges with some of the uh, very big uh, funeral home companies. The bigger challenge may be regulating body brokers who legally buy and sell donated bodies and body parts. It, it's a really um, murky world. Uh, so bodies um, invariably do not end up going to science. The FBI says most of the Sunset Mesa families did not donate their loved ones' bodies. The funeral home sold them to body brokers anyway some for training programs, some for medical supplies, and some for display. Nearly all the families will never get their loved ones back. You got that maybe part of them, but you got some other people too, and that's what's in that box. My dad's not in there at all, of course. For the legal donations, Soper wants laws to require people to sign off on what will happen to their bodies. I would rather have a Coloradan, or, or any American, quite frankly, know what the possibilities are up front. For the illegal ones, he wants harsh criminal penalties and a federal crackdown. In my opinion, the entire thing needs to be shut down, and it's not going to be. For the victims, this shared nightmare has become their common cause. Yeah, the funeral home industry just needs more regulations. They need people checking up, coming in, making sure this body is who it says. Without more changes, they fear the unimaginable will keep happening to more Coloradans. I don't want this happening to another family. I don't want another family sitting in this situation. It's bad enough mine is. Next month, state regulators will announce whether they agree that funeral home workers should be licensed. That would pave the way for legislators to propose new laws starting with the session next year. So you have these families that are awash in grief and then they have the disrespect of what's happened to their families and the disbelief of watching it happen again and again. And they're saying, look, we tried to make change happen after Sunset Mesa, and now we have this case down in Southern Colorado in Penrose, and it's almost adding insult to injury in these cases. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a profession that should be held in high esteem. They should be expected to do the very best for everyone. It's something that folks don't want to talk about, and, and some of the, the victims we talked about talked to say they didn't really understand the process, they didn't really know what was going to happen because people don't, aren't aware of it. They have trust that the people who do yes. this professionally will do it right. Mm -hmm. Now they want to make sure they have verification of that too. Appreciate your extensive reporting on it. Cole, thank you.